All right, integral test again. Now this one's starting from three to infinity, and so I've always been starting from one to infinity. Now granted, what I'm gonna say is that it's, it's definitely a positive term series now, if I start at three. So I'm glad they did that, otherwise I'd have to remove the beginning part. But let's write this over here. I can write down a continuous function, and that continuous function I'm gonna write down is f of x equals seven times a natural log of x over x squared, All right? Now, looking at it, you know, I'm gonna say it's, you know, it's continuous on the interval from three to infinity, certainly. But I wanna make sure it's decreasing. And the way I'm gonna do that is by taking a derivative. But it's over here. And that's x4. And then I get x squared times the, um, the derivative of seven natural log of x, which would be seven over x, minus seven ln x times the derivative of the bottom, which is two x. All right, that's kind of complicated, isn't it? But let's, let's write this down, f prime. Again, trying to show it's decreasing. And what would you get there? You'd get seven x minus Let's see, um, 14 x ln x over x4. I'm going to reduce it. And you can get 7 minus 2 ln x. And that's over x cubed now. All right, so really, my analysis really kind of boils down to, you know, what's happening from three forward, and that's it. That's all I'm worried about. So looking at it, you know, the bottom's always positive. I'm, I'm kind of struggling with the top. So kind of looking at it, I get seven uh, minus two ln x, and I'm wondering what, when does that equal zero? So let's write this down. Seven equals two ln x, and I'm gonna say over here, this would be seven halves, You know what, I just made a mistake somewhere. I just noticed it. So it's seven X, and I just noticed it. I gotta clean that up. Let me erase this over here. And I'm glad I noticed it. This is a mistake. So I divided through by, um, by X. It's seven minus 14, sorry about that. All right, that was my mistake. I, I don't know why I put two there. Anyway, let's write this down. So seven minus ln. Oops, I did it again. Seven minus 14 ln x. When does that equal zero? Well, ln x, that doesn't look too bad. That would be one half. And that would be x would equal the square root of a, right? Now, sometimes I wonder where the square root of a is. I hope you realize it's below 3. So I don't have to worry about that. All right, it's over here somewhere. All right? So if I go above 3, just take any test value, whatever you like. Um, you know, take, I don't know, e squared if you want. And if you did that, you plugged it in over here. Again, e squared is over here somewhere. And you plugged in e squared, what would you get? 7 minus 14 times 2 over e6, and that's clearly a negative number. Now someone says, an awful lot of work to do that, and not really, I mean, what, what we showed is that this thing is uh, continuous, positive, and decreasing on the interval from three to infinity. That's done. Let's get our eraser out, and now I'm left with the problem of, can I integrate? All right, can I integrate this? All right, and that's always the big problem. I was wondering, you know, can I integrate? They did say use the neural test, so I got good suspicions that we'll be able to integrate this and get a finite number for it. So let's write this down. We're gonna start at three. We're gonna go off to infinity, and you're gonna get seven times the natural log of x over x squared dx. You know, it, it looks like a, a problematic problem, so I'm gonna say, I, I'm going to do the integration on the side, and then I'll, I'll put this down as a limit problem. Limit 
and I'll say a goes to infinity. And I want to get the antiderivative. And that antiderivative is going to go from 3 to a. All right, so um, what I need to do now is um, I guess I have to do some integration. So let's put this over here, 7. This is my side work. I got uh, x to the minus 2 and times ln x dx. And I'm going to try integration by parts. I'm going to say u is equal to natural log of x. And du would equal 1 over x dx. Now, if I said u is equal to ln x, I'm going to say x minus 2 dx equals dv. And v, what do you do? You increase the exponent by 1, so minus 1. So it's minus 1 over x. All right, let's write this down. It's my side work. 7. And you're going to get minus the natural log of x over x minus, and we just did uv. Uh, let's see, we're going to do a du now, 1 over x dx. And the dv is going to be minus 1 over x, so I get plus, and I get this now. And uh, I think I can do it. Let's put this down. And what are you going to get? This is going to be minus 7 ln x over x. And we just did this one, right? So it's really x to the minus 2, which is going to be uh, minus 7 over x plus some constant of integration. All right, so I'm going to go back up here and write that down. And let's put it down. So minus 7 ln x over x. You know I get common denominator, so just put this over here. And then minus 7. All right. So what I need to do is I need to do the limit. And as I do that, I'm going to pull out the minus 7. Limit. A goes to infinity. And what do you get here? Let's take a look at this. Be really careful. So it's going to be, uh, let's see, it's going to be ln A minus 7 over A, and then minus, well, I get 3, and then I get ln 3. Uh, you know what? I think I made a mistake. It's plus 7. And this was plus 7. Can I do that limit? I sure can. Put it over here. This is equal. Oh, by the way, um, I'm doing a goes to infinity, right? So really, I'm looking at ln a plus 7 over a, and the bottom grows faster than the top, so that's 0. And then I get 7 times the natural log of 3 plus 7 over 3. And this is a finite number. So what do I know? This converges. All right, let's look at the key, by the way. I want to point out in the key, I, I, I did a couple different things, and I want to point out, you know, that derivative thing, positive decreasing, continuous on the interval. We did the integration, and we found this to be the, uh, the value. And we write that over here. That's 7 times the natural log of 3. You know what? I think I made a mistake somewhere. Yeah, I did. Uh, I don't want to do the whole problem over again. And this is, you know, problematic. I, I write something that's not true. And when you fact, and part of it just... I guess sloppiness. So I'm going to erase some of my work. Erase this business. I'm done with that. That was my side. I don't think that was the mistake. So I'm going to, I'm going to be, yeah, I got a little sloppy there. No doubt about it. And let me erase this too. All right? I got a little sloppy. So I, I filled out a minus 7. Then you get ln, limit, I'm sorry, not ln. A goes to infinity. And we're going to pull up minus 7. So what do you get? ln x plus 1 over x. And that's going to be 3 to a. And that was my mistake, by the way, just sloppiness. So minus 7, limit, a goes to infinity. You would get natural log of a plus 1 over a minus 
the natural log of 3 plus 1 over 3. And again, that first term disappears as a goes to infinity because the bottom grows faster. So you're left off with 7 times the natural log of 3 plus 1 over 3. Let's just simplify a little bit more. ln 3 plus 7 over 3. And that, that was my problem. I, it just sloppy. So I get this over here. I get this over here. The series converges as we stated. Thank you.